The towers and walls of the huge fortified complex of Hoi Song rise proudly and majestically into the sky. This fortress is the most famous historic site in South Korea. The center of Suwon, a city with a population of around a million, is dominated by the impressive looking fortress. The 22nd monarch of the famous Korean Joseon dynasty, King Jeongjo, ordered the construction of the complex in 1794. Although certain sections of the structure are very imposing, Hwaseong was originally not built as a fortress. The king had it built to commemorate his deceased father, Prince Sedo, a special memorial in his honor. Sado was forced to commit suicide by his political enemies. The fortress was built as a cenotaph. Despite the generous dimensions of the complex, King Jeongjou had it built relatively quickly. After only three years, Hwaseong was complete. 41 of its original buildings have survived to the present day. Today, there's no evidence of the damage to the complex that was brought about by both Japanese occupation and the Korean War. Thanks to much restoration work, the fortress walls continue to shine out in their age-old splendor as if time has stood still. Four mighty gates lead into the large complex. They face each point of the compass. The main gates, watchtowers and bastions are just as they were in the 18th century. The Hwaseong Fortress is like a large open-air museum and measures 130 hectares. The fire areas along the fortress walls, although fully functional, were hardly ever used. The strategic location of the fortress is quite obvious. Its walls and watchtowers provide a magnificent view of surroundings. Around 50 kilometers from Seoul, the city of Suwon lies in the shadow of the historic fortress. The wall of the city's main landmark is five kilometers long. Nothing disturbs the everyday life of the streets of Suwon. King Jeongjou not only had Hwaseong built as a place in which to worship his dead father, but also for political reasons.
As Suwon became more influential due to the construction of the fortress, the king hoped it would become the seat of government. However, Suwon's rise to prominence was slow to take off. So the scheme of the Joseon king never reached fruition. In addition to its imposing dimensions, the Hwaseong fortress differs in several other ways from Korea's other fortresses. The unique value of this fortress has been recognized by UNESCO, who have designated it as a World Heritage Site. Hwaseong unites Asian and Western architecture and integrates numerous urban elements, such as bastions, walls and even a city centre. All these features underline the extraordinary universalism of the structure and soldiers in historic uniforms add to its special ambience. Idyllic walkways along the fortress walls provide a relaxing way by which one can enjoy the sights. Hua Xiong is Suwon's green lung. In this part of the city, the Korean people's love of history is obvious due to the many restored historic buildings to be found here. A walk through the fortress could take several hours. It's well worth making the time to enjoy the splendor of the buildings. The combination of various architectural and historic styles make the Hwaseong Fortress a unique record of Korean history. However, this precious treasure was almost lost forever when the Japanese destroyed large sections of the complex. The huge Hua Xiong complex and its splendid buildings can be enjoyed while sitting comfortably in a dragon-shaped train. Buildings that would not be visible today if it were not for King Jiangzhou. With great foresight, King Jiangzhou documented each aspect of the fortress. Without his building plans, today the fortress would be nothing but a ruin. So the majestic towers of Hua Xiong continue to rise proudly into the radiant evening sky above Suwon, as a noble landmark of the city and also the Joseon dynasty. <laughs>